Richardson Studies, highlighting Ken Bowers hiding in plain sight, unmasking the secret combinations of the last days. Chapter 5, Welfare, and Chapter 6, Media. Notes by Nate Richardson. Bowers, Chapter 5, Welfare. Caring for the poor is not the duty of the government. It is the charity of the citizens. Socialists want to spend the government money to help the poor, but they won't give any of their personal funds to help. Examples are shown. Note, studies have revealed that conservatives give more of their income to charities to charity than liberals. Back to the text. Grover Clev Cleveland said people give to the government, but not vice versa. It makes the populace become meaner when the government is who, who is in charge of giving to the poor. It weakens the kindness, character, and brotherhood of the people. Government is not supposed to cut checks to farmers who have a bad crop, etc. President Cleveland turned down such a request since the Constitution doesn't say anything allowing that. Government charity breeds selfishness and resentment of, a, of the taxpayer. The recipient of government funds learns to expect it, whether he earns it or not. It's like the man who refused to move out of his parents' house, thinking they owe him a living. Ezra Benson said compulsory charity is not good. Too many people think the government owes them something. They see welfare as a right and not a charity. Government redistribution of wealth is robbery, robbery, not charity. Shakespeare said charity is twice blessed. It blessed him that received and him that gives. Alexander Tyler in Circle of Democracy, 1770, said, a quote, A democracy cannot exist as a permanent form of government. It can only exist until the voters discover that they can vote themselves money from the public treasury. From that moment on, the majority always votes for the candidates promising the most money from the public treasury, with the result that a democracy always collapses over loose fiscal policies following by dictatorship. End quote. This dictatorship, what the now, what the new world order people are always are setting up for us. Economics is defined as humans trying to satisfy unlimited wants through limited resources. Capitalism is self-restraint to limited to limit it, unlimitedly get our wants, whereas socialism is getting some things now and prison later. Socialism is to live in denial. When we want free things, it hurts our children's future. There is no free lunch. Thomas Jefferson said, quote, If we can pre prevent the government from wasting the labors of the people under the pretense of caring for them, they will be happy. Close quote. James Madison said, If Congress can employ, spend money infinitely for the government welfare, they, and they are the sole and supreme judges of the general welfare, they may take care of religion. They may take the care or religion into their own hands. They will appoint teachers everywhere, educate the children, and assume provisions for the poor. Such control subvert, subdivert, subverts the very nature of the limited government established by the people of America. Samuel Adams said, quote, The utopian schemes of leveling, leveling in community of goods are as visionary and, and impractical as those who, which vest all property in the crown. They are arbitrary, deposit, and, in our government, unconstitutional. Close quote. Ezra Taft Benson said, quote, No one has the authority to grant such power as welfare programs, schemes for redistribu redistributing wealth, and activities that coerce the people into acting in accordance with a prescribed code of social planning. Once the government steps over this clear line into the aggressive role of distributing the wealth through taxation and provide providing the so-called benefits of some of its citizens, it becomes a mean of for legalized plunder. The conference report, November 1968. Joseph F. Merle said, quote, Ready tongue and witty minded, ambitious politics get nominated for office by stirring up the people with glowing promises of unearned favors and benefits to the, be secured at the expense of others than other than themselves. Close quote. David O. McKay said, quote, We are placed on this earth to work, and the earth will give us a living. It is our duty to strive, till, to strive to till the earth, subdue matter, conquer the globe, take care of the flocks and herds. It is the government's duty to see that you are protected in it, and no other man has the right to deprive you of any of your privileges. But it is not the government's duty to support you. I shall raise my voice as long as God gives me sound or ability against the communist idea that the government will take care of us all and that everything belongs to the government it is wrong 
no wonder in trying to perpetuate that idea that men become antichrist, because those teachings strike a strike directly at the govern doctrines of the Savior. No government owes no government owes you a living. You get it yourselves by your own acts, never trespassing upon the rights of your neighbor, never by cheating him. You put a blemish upon your character the moment you do. Church News, March 14, 1953. Robert J. Ringer said, When politics give out more for less, that is exactly what the people will do. Less. The more money people receive by not for not working, the less they will do. Congress spends $112 million taxpayer do- dollars testing 8,500 low-income families, and they were given direct payments for 10 years, and the more of these families receive, the less they work, from restoring the American dream. FDR Franklin D. Roosevelt in his campaign said government welfare programs were unconstitutional. When he got in, he ignored that and took the nation towards government welfare, which is socialism. No, FDR did this in a big way and is one of the worst U.S. presidents. The New Deal welfare program of FDR are opposed opposite of the Founding Fathers' teachings, which, teach, which teachings limited taxation to apply only to assist the general welfare of the U.S. Note, this means when we are all taxed, we should all equally benefit from taxes, rather than selected people benefiting more than others. Back to the text. The Founding Fathers said that the government was not to feed, clothe, or house people. Government welfare destroys the poor it was supposedly designed to help. Demonstrations of this are presented in the book. Bowers, Chapter 6, All the News That's Fit to Print, Media Hiding the Truth. Reporter Upton Sinclair said, quote, It is difficult for them to see whose paycheck depends on them not seeing. Close quote. The, ma- the major news groups are controlled by the same international bankers. The super-rich pay companies n- to not cover them in the media. David Rockefeller spend- speaks of major media groups' promise- promises of discretion and how he would not have been able to accomplish what he had in the light of, the pu- of publicity. He also says, quote, supranational sovereignty of an intellectual elite and world bankers are cer- certain, surely preferable to the national auto discrimination p- practiced in the past centuries. Close quote. George Washington on foreign politics said to be neutral and to help both sides have peace. On World War I, our first national international world war, we were not doing this. Edward Bernays persuaded the U.S. to enter World War I by telling us the Huns had no morals and had to be destroyed. We fell for it. The NYT is called Bernays, the father of public relations. In Bernays' book, Propaganda, from 1928, he said, There's an inner cabinet of government we know not of, which rules us in politics, business, social contact, conduct, and ethical thinking. This invisible group is dominated by only a few people. Bernays further spoke of the abilities to persuade the public to do anything via media, using famous actors, sport personalities, sympathy for causes, and even the president. Bernays' book shows us that over the past 80 years, U.S. presidents have come in by conspiracy. Note, there are another, there are another few good books are, are on None Dare Call It Conspiracy by Gary Allen, which Ezra Taft Bell Benson encouraged Saints to read in General Conference and the President Makers by Don, fathering him. Hitler had a technique that if you tell a big lie long and loud enough, it will convince most people to believe it. This technique is used in promoting global warming, homosexuality, gun control, control, universal health care, and the cap cap and trade bill, etc. The media are controlled by a few rich elites. The Rockefellers own majority percentage of majority major co- media cop, cop cooperations. Rhodes scholarships are used to introduce people to the conspiracy. Bill Clinton was the one who took to it well. It promotes the idea of ruling the many by the few. The book discusses the Triality Commission and the Bilderberg Group. 
The book features a CFR, Council on Foreign Relations, member who calls for getting a one-world government either by con- con- consent, consent or conquest. Adulis Huxley exposes a media tactic of being silent about the truth. The Aquarian conspiracy is that the media is designed to promote drugs, free love, proscumity, homosexuality, Satanism, witchcraft, divorce, violence, and all such things that will destroy society. The Orwellian prediction is that the government will use media to enslave people and create, create their values and tastes and desires. Miss Glaspie tricked Saddam Husen into thinking the U.S. would not attack if he did certain attacks, knowing we really would. The U.S. sending troops to settle disputes of U.N. national nations is, is an important step towards the one world government. Polling is used as a tool to change the public opinion. Note, we all know we know all too well from the 2016 election that the polls were rig- rigged to show a favorable view of established candidates. Back to the text. A survey of 33 calls on gun policy were conduct. Three of them wanted less guns as a solution to violence. The reporter played three of the, those three and ignored all other 30. The, new, the NYT, New York Times, has been on the side of the communists since World War II. Pope Paul VI speaks of thanking the media for helping bring in the New World Order. 100 million TV portrays candidates as a certain way to brainwash. You can find these notes at richardsonstudies.com, and this was read by Beth Richardson.